Okay, so we're just going to make a quick video today um, and all we're trying to do is export an advanced skeleton rig uh, with some crappy animation on it and we want to take the root animation into Unreal. Um, what we need to do is, if I just show you the setup here, we need to get rid of a lot of this hierarchy in order to take it in with the root. Um, I have made a uh, root inside of Advanced Skeleton. So if you come into your body section here and go down to Game Engine, I have clicked the Create Root and that creates this joint here. And it adds it above the original root. So I have made sure to rename this to root and this to pelvis so that it's ready to go inside of Unreal. So do that. And once you have that, then we're ready to go. Um, first thing we need to do is take the necessary components out of, un, uh, out of Advanced Skeleton's current hierarchical setup. So I'm going to take this root hold down my middle mouse and drag it out here so it's no longer inside that setup. I need to do the same with my geometry. So these are no longer inside of there but they're still connected. So if I were to delete any of these components we'd have a big explosion and we don't want that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my root and making sure to be on animation here. Go to key and I'm going to bake simulation and make sure that I have below set. That means it selects every single joint and will bake everything. Now it really doesn't make a great um, difference about your settings here. I'm baking everything onto every key just because when I export I'm going to end up doing that anyway. So I have everything baked down here now and I should be okay to start deleting out these elements because there is no longer any connection between the control rig and my skeleton. So everything is gone from the scene now. So I'll just check and we are still moving. So that's us ready to go. We now have a skelly mesh, so a skeleton and a mesh. Now, when I'm exporting into a game engine, I want to make sure that I do two different exports, one for the animation and one for the skelly mesh. So for the skelly mesh, I go into Game Exporter here and I click on the Model section. You see these three tabs. So in the Model section, I don't have animation checked on, so this will only take the static mesh and the skeletal structure. I have my project directory set up here, so if you click the folder it will just ask you where to go and then you give it a name. So I click export, export that there and in order to get my animation out I no longer need the mesh so I can just select my root, make sure to select hierarchy just in case and I've given this a name, this clip called kick um, if you want, if you have several animations, you can make extra clips and make them start at different times and give them different names. So it's a very efficient system. Um, I don't actually have any other clips, so there's no need for that. I can just delete it. So I'm going to export this kick. Everything here is fine. I've given it the name Big Kick. So with the root selected and hierarchy clicked, I can now export that into Unreal. Export select is OK. And then in Unreal, I can now bring in my Skelly Mesh and make sure that Import Animations isn't on. I don't want any animation. Let's Import and 
customarily ignore all of the warnings. And then I'm going to bring in my big kick, which has no mesh. So once I tell it to, oh, and it already knows, to attach to the correct skeleton, everything should be ready to go. But it's always good to just check that there's nothing a little bit mental in there. But let's go. OK. He is now in there. Big kick animation sequence. Let's have a look. And there is our beautiful animation. Beautiful. And we want to enable root motion on this. So uh, if all of your side windows are compressed like this, you'll see that there's one option here called root motion. And because we have animation actually on the root bone, we can click enable root motion and also force root lock, which will lock it dead in space. And now our character is doing a kick in space and is ready to go inside of a blueprint that enables root motion. And there we have it. All is good. So best of luck and I'll see you soon.